Today's quick reviews of my favorite SH monster arts, Burning Godzilla from the movie Godzilla vs. Destroyer. I'll be showing you why it's worth burning a hole in your pocket for, or just having in your collection. This Godzilla comes from the best and saddest Godzilla movie ever in my opinion. This is a wonderful addition to SH Monster Arts line into my life as I've had it for years. And all that is due to the posability, simple sculpting, and the torrid paint details. There will be parts missing. I was a kid and when you bring your toys on a car trip with you wherever you go, you tend to lose something. Throughout this review, I'm going to prove to you it's worth burning the hole in your pocket for. I mean, he's only the low, low cost of 220 dollars if you buy them pre-owned off of ebay depending on which seller the main reason i say why he's worth it as i've stated before i've had this burning godzilla for years and after constant hours of play fiddling dropping him and just having a blast with him he's still here standing straight up i mean a little loose in some areas and missing some parts but yet still a figure i love to pose and enjoy so what the bots I have to say it is an obvious favorite of mine as this was one of the first most dramatic things I ever saw I mean heck the stickers are still on there after like six seven years and another thing I like is that there are two versions of this I like this one because it really does look like it's burning away at the edges it's even viewing it from the side it still looks pretty great and then the other side of bots is a very emotional pose for me the top of the bots is dust he is all heck showing its age yet again but then it has the beautiful old Godzilla text font and style. Legalese is just a regular legalese. Then the back is where it truly shines. This is one of my favorite boxes. I love that picture as well because as a figure the one thing about these figures that i want you guys to notice is that all the eyes are painted on but like mine they're very pointed straight to the nose so every figure that you get will have a different set of eyes they have my favorite godzilla poster ever on the box as well going into the posability with this guy i have to say other than 2002 and little things with the shin that could be changed this guy has the most posability out of all of them. The only time that any of the other ones beat them is the tail which I'll get into later. So with the head going up it can go pretty nicely. It can do regular Godzilla pose and I don't think you need to go up any further than that going down so he does have another joint down there mine is tight so probably won't go as far as it needs unless i push it but it can look down that far going side to side he's just like shin in 2019 where he doesn't look to his side but he leans he can turn to his side pretty nicely then with the jaw it is on two hinges in the back and mine is a little lopsided so as you can see it's drooping on the side but eh, it's not that big a deal the arms to me are probably the most fantastic part of this figure. The main reason why, as we saw with 2019, the shoulders can be very limited, but with this one, we get a whole lot of freedom and movement in, out, and circling around. Then we get an amazing bicep joint that flows beautifully with the shoulder. Double bending elbow. Mine can't really straighten out. I don't know why. Maybe it's just collision there. Everyone's is different. And then collapsing, we get more than 90. And then we get wrist. My guy's chest is loose, but is I played with this joint a lot but it can still do a lot so going up he can pretty much just straighten out going down he can almost chest the groin so he can do the 2019 charging pose as well and then the feet are pretty much like the shoulders and your arms great articulation great in and out movement a lot actually then we have forward and back very nice and it's a tight I shouldn't say tight it's in there pretty well so don't fear of loosening the joint unless you play with it like I did. And with the knee, we get the typical Godzilla, just under 90. He can straighten out. Then we also get the amazing shin and ankle rotation, which is it as good as the other ones? No. So the biggest contender as to whether this guy is really good or not is if you care for the tail. So my guy's tail, other than the missing pieces, is very, it's rubbery. Side to side, you don't really get that much. It's more at certain joints rather than the whole tail, which I mean, this is fine. And then going up is probably where he's best at, but 
my guy's joint is loose so I'm not going to do that. And then going down, pretty much none. I mean a little bit, it can straighten out more but meh. The whole thing that I love with the SH Monster Arts figures is beautifully shown in this guy. Beautiful neck, beautiful arms, beautiful legs and even though I freaking abused the chest joint, it still works. So this guy also comes to four other things or in my case three because I accidentally lost it. And what we get are two open hands which in comparison to the regular ones they if it's like a claw it's just a little bit spread out so i don't really use it especially i had trouble with it as a kid taking off and i just had them in a single pose so i didn't mess with them but then we get a beautiful mazer tank and it does have rotation at the top you can't go full three sits the other one is like a truck for size comparisons here he is next to 2002 2019 shin to give my final opinion on this kit absolutely love it. from the fact that over the course of however many years it has not broken or other than the little things that i lost it hasn't shown true degradation it's a piece that i love to have my question for the next review to myself is how am i gonna get him in frame